Hi, everybody. Ben here from KZU Help Desk. I'm going to take you through a quick demo on a general setup. Okay, so in KZU Help Desk, there are two main components. There's the end user portal. So this is where either your internal users or customers can come submit requests, search or browse a knowledge base, as well as sign in to view all their past requests. On the other side of things is the agent portal. So this is where the actual people either helping the users or the customers would come in to kind of manage those tickets. Now, we will start in the end user portal. Now, I am currently in customized mode, and that can be very easily accessed by an administrator by clicking the end user portal from the agent portal. So we will launch into a customized mode. So we'll see this customize button here. So I can very quickly do a lot of surface things. So for example, if I want to change my logo, I want to, for example, change some text, right? So this can all be, we are here for you, right? So keep in mind that all these surface changes can be applied you know, throughout the page. Now, on top of the surface changes, we're also able to customize. So for example, if we don't want a knowledge base or we want to force users to sign in or we want to remove this altogether, all that can be done in the admin under customization settings here, right? So we will be pulled into, for example, the display here, right? So if I want to disable the search bar, I click that button, I refresh and it's gone. Okay. Now, searching and browsing the knowledge base straightforward for your users. Managing that is done under the admin under articles here. Okay. So what we will see is we'll see folders and subfolders. So this allows you to organize your knowledge. All this is self-service. So you can add in folders, subfolders um, on your own, as well as by adding articles, right? So an article is a knowledge base. So it's really just as simple as putting a title and a body. Now, keep in mind, you can embed images, videos, URLs, as well as attach files, okay? More importantly, when we filled all this in, we can choose which folder as well as the associated subfolder. On top of that, we can also choose who can view these. So do you want anybody to be able to view them, right? Meaning your end user portal is public on the internet. Do you want them to have to log in or do you want to keep it for agents only? Agents only would not display the information here, nor would it be visible to them if you allow them to sign in, okay? Agent only articles will be used by your agent, right? The staff helping the users um, either as a reference point or using them in your responses. And I'll show you that in a couple minutes. Now, submitting a request can be done via email as well. Okay, so this page is all brandable, customizable, right? But um, again, optional because we can do everything via email. So I've set up three different forms. Okay, so we can make them as complicated or as simple as you wish because this is all based on custom field. Okay, so managing those forms is done in the admin under custom forms. Okay, so we'll see the custom forms. We can easily add or edit them, right? And just kind of follow the on-screen instructions, okay? Now, after we've submitted a ticket, the ticket will show up here. Now, one thing just to kind of note is that keep in mind that there are automations built in. So if you need to route technical questions to a specific person or billing question to a group of agents, that's all possible. Can also be tied into the answers, right? So this is a custom field that I've created which version of software is installed. So for example, if I selected 2.0 versus 2.1, we could perform a different action. The same concept is for emails because we can read you know, the subject and description and then perform those actions. Now, uh, dealing with the automations, again, is under admin and then automations, okay? Now, jumping into the agent portal, so first things first, um, everything is automatically indexed for search. There is no limit in terms of what we're storing. Everything is also automatically tracked for metrics purposes, okay? So all these reports can be run on screen. They can be exported. You can schedule dumps. Um, you can also tie into the API as well as report builders like Power BI, okay? So if you need to extract that data and push it in, we can do that as well. Now, um, the agent portal is also governed by permissions and roles. 
Okay, so in the admin again, under agent roles and groups, we'll be able to see the list of your agents. We will also be able to add in roles. Okay, so if I go into edit an agent, for example, you'll see that we can assign them one or many roles, right? Or choose them as well as give them access to the help desk. Okay, so they can view all tickets, only what's been associated to them through groups or what's been either assigned manually or automated through an agent. Okay. So that also then governs what they can see and do, right? So for example, you might not want someone to be able to delete. You might not want someone to run reports. You might want people to only see certain types of tickets. Okay, that's all possible. This screen, your main dashboard is also controlled by views. Okay, so we will give you default views. So up to suspended, these are all default views. You will notice that I've added in a whole bunch of custom views and that can be accommodated through here. Keep in mind that controlling your views allows you to you know, choose which customers or which criteria you want displayed. On top of that, you can also customize the columns, right? So if you wanted a custom field added here or another system field, you can remove and add as you see fit, okay? Now, just really quickly before jumping into a ticket, keep in mind that there are also bulk actions, right? So we can easily assign, we can do a bulk reply, we can merge, we can also export data. And even when hovering over tickets, we can assign and kind of take tickets as well, okay? Now we're going to jump into issues with my printer. We're gonna come help Johnny test, right? So what we will notice right away is all the ticket data, right? All the back and forth is on the left. You will also notice that all the ticket criteria can also be scrolled through independently. Mine's a bit longer than you'll see in your standard one is because I've customized this, okay? So keep in mind, this can be customized um, and you can kind of get the right questions up front, okay? So even if someone emails you guys in a ticket, you can still tie it to a form and at least have all these displayed so that your agent knows what to ask at least, okay? Now, Replying to a user, right? This is my answer about your printer, for example. Now, because I know the issue, I and I know that I have an article, like a knowledge base written, I can quickly search it and insert it, okay? If we don't have a knowledge base or articles, we can start adding them from tickets as well, okay? Now, everything we reply here will be threaded and timestamped within the ticket. It will also be emailed back out to the user. Now, keep in mind, you can control those email workflows under the admin, okay? So if you don't want certain emails going out, that can all be turned off. Now, on top of the public reply, we can also do private replies. So private replies are only for agents, right? So this is private. So this means that your user or customer would never be emailed this, nor would they have access to it if we went into the end user portal and you allowed them to sign in. Okay. Um, on top of being able to keep private notes, you're also able to collaborate with your other agents. So if you need help from, you know, my two agents, Elena and Steve, I need some help. So what happens here is, is that those two agents would get an email, as well as when they log in, they would be tagged and there'd be an icon showing them that they need that that ticket needs their attention. Okay. Again, this will not be emailed out to your customer. It will be threaded within the ticket, but your customer or user would never see it. Okay. We give you access to your users information, right? So we will act as a CRM for you as well. So we'll see here is that I'm pulling up Johnny test information. There is some custom information as well. So these can be customized and there is an association to a company. So if the user is associated to a company, we'll pull that up as well. If you ever wanted to see their full contact card, you can just hover over and click view profile. And from here, we'll see Johnny Tess's contact card, which again is customized as well as the ability to see all their tickets. Okay. Now, um, some other stuff we can do here, right? So we can merge tickets. Okay, so there's merge function right at the ticket level. There is also the opposite of merge split. So common in support is that users will put in new problems over and over with, right? Over on the same ticket. So I have a new problem with my phone, can you help? So instead of me answering in this ticket, I can just click the split button and that would then allow me to change a subject of the ticket the user or customer, right, the person that submitted this ticket or this reply will then get a new email, 
and a new ticket number. So it allows you to keep a little bit more organized. Um, now, jumping into the admin a little bit. So let's jump in the admin. So again, we will have full control over email. Okay, so you can have one or many different email addresses to accept tickets. You can also control what your agents and users receive. Okay, so all these letters can be turned on and off. They can also be edited. Okay, we've kind of went through the agents. Okay, so we can view the list of agents, roles, and groups. So at each agent, they can belong to one or many different groups, right? So the easiest way to explain is, let's say you're launching a help desk for IT, but your HR department also needs it, okay? So you can create two separate groups, and then from there, the notific ticket notifications, their access, permissions, et cetera, can all be based on that, okay? The system also does... Um, have your business hours. Okay. So you can set up your work in nine to five, 24 hours, et cetera. From there, you can set up service level policies. Okay. So service level agreement is how quickly do you need to respond and close to a ticket? Okay. So this can be added, you know, um, right from your portal. And then from there, depending on the ticket's urgency or who the customer is, right? So you can set up different rules based on company groups and for your entire account. Okay. The automations is kind of what I've already explained. Okay, so for example, let's kind of show you what we can do here. Now, keep in mind that there's lots of ways to use this because it does tie into your custom fields. But for example, if the subject or description contains at uh, important customer, let's say he's upset or he's just a big customer, we can, for example, set the priority as urgent as well as set the group to a certain ticket. Okay, so there is no limit of terms of what we're setting. That's kind of the automations. The custom forms. So these custom forms will match your end user portal. Now, keep in mind, you don't necessarily need to expose these here if you don't want, because there is the concept of a private uh uh, ticket form as well. Okay, so if you just want to keep it accessible to agents, we can also create those. Okay. Um, there's lots more back end automations, right? So the system is made to make your life easier. So we can automatically close tickets if you don't hear from a customer a certain amount of days. There is also automated closes. Um, the system will also handle spam as well as a whitelist and blacklist. So you can authorize either users or domains as safe or as complete block. Okay, the system will also allow you to lock it down to specific users. Um, the system will also track company and contacts, right? So we can, for example, going to the company, we're going to jump into the ABC Inc., we're gonna see that we have a contact card for the ABC as well as all the associated users. So keep in mind that you can lock down the system to only accept tickets from certain company domains. There is also built-in satisfaction surveys, right? So those are fully reported on. Um, so your user would allow it to be put in details and you can report on it. The system does um, you know, use macros, right? So we do allow you to create macros or what we call quick responses. Those can be used in your responses. The system will also tie into other integrations. So popular would be Jira for project management, you know, Microsoft, Microsoft Teams or Slack, for example. Each, end of, each app integration will do something different, okay? Both portals, the agent and the end user portal will also work with single sign-on, okay? So back to the end user portal here, we can turn off our sign-in mechanism and you can tie into, for example, Azure or Google SSO or any other type, even local L or even local Active Directory, okay? So both will, uh, be, both will tie into that. We will also have full control over what you want to receive in terms of messages, right? So each agent will also have their own profile, which they can put in their own signature as well as control your notifications. Now that is the very quick tour of KZU Help Desk. If you have any questions, please let us know or book us for a live demo. Thank you again, take care.